In this video, we will continue with trigonometric functions, but now we will just look at the radiant ones. So it's uh, pi plus beta, pi minus beta, or 2 pi minus beta. Okay, in the second, the third, and the fourth quadrant. You will find this on page 175 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at this um, summary. Now, again, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. You just see it nice. Okay. So it's, it's working exactly the same. Just remember now that if you, and I'm going to make you a picture that you just recall. So this is pi. This is 2 pi again. This is 0. And this is pi over 2. And this is 3 over 2 pi. Okay. So in the second quadrant, if it's here, if it's here, it will always be pi minus this. And again, don't forget, don't forget your, your cost. Working exactly the same. So, if sin in the second quadrant will be positive, but cos and tan will be negative. Okay, because this is the this indicates it's the second quadrant. This indicates plus, because now I'm just adding. Okay, so now I'm here. Plus beta. Beta is the angle in my textbooks now. It's, it's the acute angle towards the x-axis. Okay. So, again, who is positive here? Only tan. And that's why I made it that color. But the rest will be negative. And now, this one, now I'm here. So, it's 2 pi instead of 360 minus this. And again, who's the only one that's positive here? It's cos. And the rest will be negative. Okay, and now I'm just going to use an example, and I'm going to do it a little bit different, this example, but it's actually easy. I start by giving you a statement. I say sin theta is this. Find the value of. Now, always, if I look at this, and, and I, every time, I'm just, um, <clears throat> I want you always to have a picture in your mind. Because I think sometimes it's easier if it's in three dimensions. Okay, or in a picture format. So in this case, it's theta uh, uh, pi, remember that's pi, pi, pi. So minus, so it's indicating it's there. Now what is sin in that quadrant? Sin is positive, because don't also forget mm, your cost. Your cost. Your cost. So what is sin in that quadrant? It's positive. So I just first come to this, and now I just substitute that. And that's my answer. Now, if I come and I say send this, but now I'm not landing there, I'm landing here. What is sending this one? It's negative. So I, and I substitute in brackets, because that was negative, and I get this. And then, what is sent in this quadrant? This one is, it's also negative, okay, and it will result into that. Okay, so just have your pictures in your mind. And just think now of radians. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, and now I will just see which ones I'm going to give you. Uh, I want you to do A, uh, um, this one, and this one. Two, I want you to do uh, what? B, and C, and three, I want you to do A, and B. E just to have a little bit of a difference. Okay, then stop the video, do it, then as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start with try now 23. Number one, A. Okay. Now, I'm just going to make a sketch every time, and that's just for explanation to help you. It's not necessary that you make it. So if I start with number A, I say tan, and now I say pi minus theta. Now, don't forget that is pi. So, if I say minus, it indicates it's in this quadrant. It's going to be there. Because that is going to be, in this case now, my angle theta. 
It's now not beta, but theta. Doesn't matter. As I said, they can use different symbols. Now, if I'm going to start and I say tan phi minus theta. Now, don't forget your cos diagram still. Just going to help you. Now, what is tan in this quadrant? It's negative. That's why I say negative tan theta. And now I substitute. Tan theta is, so it's like, it's negative. And then I substitute the negative 1.5 for tan theta. And then my answer will be positive 1.5. Okay, that's how you do it. Now, let's do the next one, number B. Now, number B is tan, let's get that being correct. And now it's, theta, uh, it's pi plus theta. Now, where is that? This one is now added. Do you see? That was subtract. That was less than, than pi. This is more than pi. And it's here. Now, oh, this is wonderful because tan is positive in this quadrant. So I'm going to say it's equal to positive tan theta. And I just substitute that tan theta. And now tan theta is negative. So it's negative 1.5. Okay. So every time focus there when you come to the substitution. That was number A. Let's make space for number B. Ach, number 2. That was number 1. Now I will look at number 2. Okay, again, I just like to make a sketch. It just help me in the explanation. And now I will start with B. Okay. I will now fill it in. Don't forget that is pi, is zero. And don't also forget your cost. But if I start with number B, it's saying no, cos, and it's saying pi plus theta. Now, where is that? That is there. Okay. Now, what is cos in this quadrant? It's negative. That's why you say negative cos theta. Okay. Now, what is cos theta? Now, it's, it's 0 0.75. So the answer will be negative 0 0.7. Okay. And then if I do number C, now it's cos 2 pi minus theta. So where is that? Now I think, oh, this is in quadrant 4. That is theta. Now, what is cos in this? Oh, excellent. It's positive. So that's why I say you don't have to write positive. That's going to be cos, positive cos theta. And what is theta? It's 0 0.7. That's how you do it. Let's do the finals. Almost like we are simplifying this. The number three and put it in the unit circle. So number three, and I will start with A, and now it will be sin pi minus theta. And again, I like to, to make a sketch just to help you. But if the lines are straight. Okay, so if I'm looking, and don't forget again, again, be correct. Don't forget your cost. Okay. So don't forget here, sin in this quadrant, okay, because it's pi minus theta, so it's in this quadrant. And what is sin in that quadrant? Sin is positive, so it's positive sin theta, okay. And what is sin theta? It's zero point, here it is, gave it to you, zero point seven. And then number B, it's sin theta of pi plus theta, but where is it now? It's more than pi. It's there. And now I say, oh, but what is sin in this quadrant? In this quadrant, it's negative. It's negative sin theta. And now I'm just going to come and I say, okay, 
So it's negative, and I substitute 0 0.7, and it's actually just negative 0 0.7. And that will be my final 